Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner Sword Siege Battle video. So before we begin, I would just like to proudly announce that this video is sponsored by Huawei App Gallery and I'm just gonna share with you guys the new update that Comptoist had which is the Transmog Packs and also the Second Awakening High Elementals. So we already purchased the Beast Riders and Art Masters there. Didn't want to buy all the packs because I don't really use the Rakshasha's Undyne's or even the String Master. And of course this is the High Elementals and I'm gonna show you guys how to save money on buying these packs, alright? So with the new update of the Transmog Packs, you'll be able to enjoy up to 40% discounts on these packs by logging in on App Gallery, the growing Android app store launched by Huawei. And they are launching a coupon offer where you can claim 20% cashback and 4 separate coupons with discounts of 15% on the 4.99, 28.99 packs and 20% discounts on the 64.99 and 99.99 packs in pounds. Similarly, if your country is set to Ireland or New Zealand, the coupon gives 15% discounts to the smaller packs and 20% discounts on the larger ones. You also get an additional 20% back in Huawei points. One Huawei point is worth one of whichever currency you use to make the purchase. So for example, if you buy a £20 pack, you get £4 to spend on any in-game purchases in your next purchase. With both offers active, you get up to 40% discount on the summon bundle value for the amount that you spend. I'll now show you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to enjoy this big discount. Firstly, all you have to do is download Huawei App Gallery. Once you're done with that, head into the app and under me at the bottom right, you'll be able to scroll down to the settings. And under settings, you'll be able to see this country slash region. So to participate in this campaign, set your country to UK, Ireland or New Zealand. Of course, New Zealand dollar having the cheapest exchange rate compared to the USD. If you're coming from another country, you can still select either of those countries in the settings and will definitely benefit from the 40% bonus, right? So once you're done with that, you go to the search bar, type in Summoner's War, and this link will pop up. So you'll be able to see this open link at the bottom. If you haven't downloaded Summoner's War yet from Huawei App Gallery, that will be the download link itself. And you'll be able to see this campaign as well. It ends on the 13th May 2021. Let's head into the campaign link and you'll be directed into this page it shows the Korean anniversary for Summoner's War and you'll be able to see these four coupons, alright? So 15% off for the smaller packs and 20% off for the bigger ones. Just collect all of those and whenever you go into your game to make any in-app purchases for the Summoner's War packs, you'll be able to apply these coupons during checkout. Additionally, you also get 20 Huawei points back on purchase during the campaign period which I'll be showing you guys as well. I'm going to show you how simple it is to claim the 20% points back and I'm just going to purchase this small pack and you'll be redirected to the Huawei in-app purchases page. Gonna use my PayPal to buy it and there you go, payment complete. Please make sure to claim the one Huawei points reward and with this, you'll be able to apply these points to enjoy further discounts on any in-game purchases or any apps from the Huawei app gallery itself. Once again, thank you to Huawei app gallery for sponsoring this video. Please make sure to download Summoner's War from the Huawei app gallery and you'll be able to receive up to 40% discounts on your in-game purchases. So, we'll be starting our Siege Battle right now. Let's head right in. Today, we're up against this Ultraman Guild and Zenith. Honestly, I'm not too sure what to call them in Chinese because I can't read it. But I did like Google Translate. It said like, who calls me gently? So, I'm just gonna call them Ultraman. <laughs> Zenith is at rank 4, 10, 3, and 1. And the Ultraman Guild, 8, 4, 2. Rank 10. And we'll be checking out the defenses on both sides. On the Ultraman Guild side is the Martina Shina Triana slash Wadam. Okay. For the Tower 11. This one is actually really interesting. Sierra, Clara, and Tessarion. We don't really see this often in current meta. And for Tower 10 is some LD Tower, I believe. Okay, three Leonas. Wow. I was expecting a full tower, thankfully not. So we're seeing like Fermion and also Bizzlebub, the Dark Demon. On Zenith's side, of course, is the Kakano Vigor Triana. We are seeing this really often in the meta as well. Tower 9 is their LD Tower. Ooh, very flashy stuff. Fermion, Yonhong, Artamils. 
Tower 10 as well. <laughs> They're utilizing all their LD net fives. We'll be able to use our first sword of the day against this tower. We are seeing the Kumun Clara Savannah. Let's just head right in with our Jin Skogo Leo. This team really safe. We also have about close to 100% resistance on all of our units. And we are all really tanky as well. So the only way for them to win is basically like Savannah trying to armor break my whole team into some Kumun procs. Yeah, that's how I only lose, but so far, I feel like I've already used this team against more than 100 fights of this Kumun Clara Savannah. And we only lost just once against Candy House Frank, if I remember correctly. Yeah, his Kumun went crazy. <laughs> we couldn't kill it in time. So we need to dismount this Savannah ASAP. Can this get it? No. So this rock is kind of wasted because if we dismounted the savannah right there and then I believe the rock would have killed off that savannah because the HP is like half when it's dismounted but doesn't really matter because everybody is really low on health already and once Kogu moves this rock drops and there you go first win in the back For our next battle we'll be facing this Tassarion, Etna and Bastet of course, I'm gonna bring in my own Tessarion together with Camila and Luis or Beta. Any other immunity user, you could also run Chloe, go with Resistance Leader from the Tessarion, and it should work just as fine, alright? Because Camila will be tanking up all the damage done from the Etna, and as long as you have immunity on your hits, the Shatter won't do too much. You'll be able to neglect the armor break, right? And of course, Always aim off the opponent's Tessarion first because we need Luis to stay alive. So can this crit? Hmm, not enough damage. <laughs> Maybe I should change my Tessarion runes a little bit. But can this kill? Alright, perfect. So now just left the Etna alone. Of course, Etna is not like Odin. She can't do ignore damage. So Camila will be always tanking up the damage output coming up from this Etna. However, nice prop. 3v1. We finally land the armor break. Can this kill? Awesome. It seems to me that we'll be facing a lot of all this Tessarion, Bastet, and Etnas. I'm not too sure why Etna because I feel like Savannah or Odin would do a better job in that slot. Maybe they don't have it. So with this Feng Yan, Perna, Fedora, just go full wheel, chill. And we should be good. We'll try to focus down the Tessarion first. Okay. We'll place the Calm Mine into the Decline. And we'll just try to normal attack here. We want to save our Nuke for later if we armor break the Tessarion from our Feng Yan. Come on. Can we counter armor break? Awesome. We'll just work on him. Okay. We didn't get the armor break onto the Etna, but it's okay. Can this one shot the Tessarion? It's gonna be really hard because of Tessarion's passive. So just 24,000. Still pretty decent. We have our immunity and the counter. This should do it. And just left this Etna and Bastet against our Feng Yan. Feng Yan will always tank up all the damage done from the opponent from here. No more Oblivion coming up from the opponent's Tessarion. And our finger will be okay, I feel like. Unless the Etna gets like insane procs like Shatter into the capture. And getting a few more procs just to kill off my Feng Yan. But yep, didn't happen and this bus that goes down as well. One of my guildmates just lost this one and we'll be heading right in with our Lucian together with Bill, the R5 Bill and Tion. So we just need to pray that the Bastet dies here. <laughs> no other way around it, please. Okay, that's good. We crit everything, even though we are 82% crit rate. So against water, we are at 97. Not the best, but I really 100%. From here, we'll just heal up. And I think this should kill everything if we land on both units. All right, perfect. This tower 4 just opened up and it's a very interesting defense, Kakano Han and Clara. So I'm bringing in a very scuffed Josephine 
The runes is really bad, but we are just using her for countering the Clara. She didn't get the stun! <laughs> so what's the point of bringing Josephine now? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Ah, Usually on defense, the Clara does like triple stuns all the time. Unfortunately, this one didn't. But I feel like we'll just work on the Clara. Everything should die to the bomb. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Let's carry on with our fight. So we'll be facing this Kakano, Vigor, and Triana. I always bring in my Vigor, Kaki, Triana. I feel like this is my safest team against it. Where we just try to aim off the Kakano ASAP. Okay, good. We'll go for the armor break. Can this prop the passive? Okay. We cleanse that armor break away. And I feel like the Kakano will put the hidden aim here. We'll just buff up for the anti crits. We need to armor break this Kakano. I think Triana one more turn for the passive, right? She only got one proc there. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh, I hate it when this uh, Kakano goes back to the hidden aim. And yeah, another round of heals. Uh, yeah, can we just work on it? Nice proc, we cleanse all the armor breaks away. Vigor, do you have a heal? Yeah, I'm just gonna use it. Awesome. This should kill. Nice. And from here on out, this Triana doesn't really hit that hard as well. And personally, I changed my Triana to crit damage. I feel like it's like the better choice on defense because most people will be running twins, the water twins. With my Triana on crit damage, we do have a chance to actually win if Vigor does like armor breaks into one crit or something along those lines. So yeah. Uh, just left this Vigor alone. Can we just kill off this unit? Crit! 14,000? We gotta take down this Tower 9 and it's another Tessarian Basset Odin. This time, I changed my presetted teams to Rina instead of Emma for the Fingyan Bellagio com. <laughs> and for this to work, you also need Fingyan on Will, right? So just Will for everything. Rina doesn't really matter, she's just there to tank up the damage done from Odin. We'll place the Combine right now. And most importantly, we need to land the Armor Break onto the Tessarion within these 3 turns. Because once Fingyan gets Oblivion up, we are not gonna do too much damage. Okay, nice additional prop. Can we counter Armor Break? Awesome! Didn't crit! <laughs> 5.7k damage only? Oh no. Okay, don't proc. Awesome. We'll just continue working on to the Tessarion. Fingyan should move in front of this Tessarion, right? Yeah, we are already full bar. Just go for the kill. And Odin has this 5 stacks. We'll try to work on him. Okay, 7.5k damage. And let's just heal up. Place the Calm Mind into the Sanctuary. Whew. I feel like this is in the back. We'll place the Sanctuary up. And with this immunity on our side, Bastet won't be doing some random armor break. We finally land the armor break onto the Bastet. And let's just try to finish her off. Nice procs as well. Hastening the process. 7 wins in a row. This net 4 tower just opened up on Zenith's side and it's another Kakano, Vigor, and Triana. This time, I'm gonna bring in my second set of Vigor, Kaki, Triana against it because I still feel like this is my two safest teams to fight against the Vigor, Kaki, Triana and Kakano, Vigor, Triana. I know some people are going for the Elusia Sin kind of offense but I still feel like whenever I use that one, it's pretty shaky. It's not like 100% win and probably against like uh, this kind of teams, some people use the twins as well, Sabrina Talia. But yet again, if your Harmonia dies to like an armor break into this hidden aim damage, yeah, it just doesn't really work. And sometimes Triana is on crit damage as well, your twins can't sustain enough. Harmonia can't sustain your twins uh, fully. And once one of your twin dies, it's just going south from there as well. 
This Triana is left alone and we'll just press the auto button. Took quite some time but this one really safe after we got the heals on our Kaki back to almost like 3 quarters of HP. We're on route to getting back to back to back 10 wins in a row and we'll be facing against this Tessauran Busted Odin once again. And I'm seeing my guildmates use this Rika Gany. it seems really safe against it. So yeah, let's just try it out. Alright, additional prop from the Tessarion. We'll place the Serenity up for the Anti-Crits as well. Go for the Toy Knight because this Odin is still on will. He stole my Ganis will earlier. So I'm not really liking it. Ah, oh, additional proc. I'm just gonna go for the normal attack. Can we strip something here? Nope. Yeah, we didn't get it again. Yeah, shit. He has 5 stacks. We'll still magic the Odin, but he still does have that ignore damage. It's gonna be really hard to survive this. I feel like, can we get some sleep? We need it. We didn't get it. Yeah, so we'll just ventilate our Rika. I feel like Beta or Gany will be dying here. Oh shit. We do not have any revives. And our Rika is down to like the last health. <sighs> ah, the Bastet kills off my Rika. Oh no. Yeah, I think this one is GG, man. We are down to our last sword of the day up against this Kakano Vigor Triana. I've got no choice but to bring in our Elusia Vigor and Sin because we already hit this defense twice with our Vigor Kaki Trianas. And I feel like. This team is actually okay as long as you bring down the Kakano ASAP. Yeah, we can't really put the speed buff as well. So we'll just do some normal poking damage. Everything is on wheel. Oh, this is gonna hurt. 9,000. Okay, we can deal with that. We heal up again. We put the Vigor to sleep. Nice prop. We boost up our Sin. Additional prop. Alright, can we stun? Good. Hmm, but he propped out of the stun. <laughs> Not too good on my side right now. Mm hmm. Let me see the attack bar. Never mind, the Vigor propped out of the sleep to heal up the Kakano. It's down to the last hit, but this Triana will move anyways. So we just prop the passive first. I was thinking to use my Vigor's normal attack on another unit. But yeah. The Triana will be moving anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Kakano goes down. We'll try to focus down the Vigor, leaving the Triana last, and we should be Gucci from here. We finally land the armor break onto the Triana. This should definitely kill. Come on, Sin. Awesome! So we got 9 out of 10. Not too bad. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 332 crystals followed by 362 guild points. We'll just collect those and head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So Zenith got second place here followed by Ultraman guild at third. We'll open up the rubbish box as usual. Hopefully we can get something good. Ooh, it's a 50-50 chance to get a shiny box. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Come on, I'm gonna pick the one next to Zera. Can we get it? I don't see any lightning. Ah, uh, this is so sad. 50-50 and we missed. <laughs> okay, good game. So this will be also a giveaway video. All you have to do is type down in the comments below and make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Very simple and it will be a $100 giveaway. I'll be picking the winner on my Twitch live stream on Sunday afternoon. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video as well, and turn on the notifications. Take care and stay safe. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.